After the events of the previous video, we decided that exploration would be to the benefit of Chadland. But, even though we did make some gains from the exploration, we had to cut it short because uh, the game decided we were making too much money and we were being too good. So, in the end, it decided to send multiple expeditions towards Chadland, putting Chadland in actual, tangible danger. The first faction to try the metal of the Chadlandians, obviously, were the pirates. They were still seeking revenge for the destruction of their fleet at the hands of the Chatland station. As they orbited the Chatlandian homeworld, floating gracefully above the planet's surface, the Chatlandian hammerheads with their thumpers made them ephemeral, nothing more than clouds of space trash floating around the orbit of Chadland. Mere fireworks, a mere amusement for the Chadlandians that stared up at the night sky. Even then, this would not deter them, and they would attack the station once more. The battle started without a hitch. Like a frightening light show, the station's weapons melted the enemy destroyers and left them easy pickings for our fleet. Like mere insects, they were shoved aside, their blackened empty hulls floating about in space, there to be scavenged by others, like vultures in a battlefield, never to raid and plunder. Again. After the pirates, the hegemony would be the next to try Chatlandian metal. Get fucked! That's right, mess him up! Most of the enemy expeditionary force consisted of missile ships. Still, there were no match for Chatlandian prowess, and we were able to corner some of them and divide the forces in order to destroy them. Thanks to the station's overwhelming presence, we were able to destroy their smaller ships, allowing us to surround and destroy the bigger ones. The hegemony would be wise to think twice before attacking any Chatlandian settlement. And just like the pirates, their blackened holes will join the orbit of our planet as a silent reminder of what happens to those who trespass against Chatland. Okay. After the destruction of the Hegemony Expeditionary Fleet, the Perseian League for some reason decided that it was the perfect time to also invade. But as a loose conglomerate of warring factions, they were no match for a unified people. A people of industry, resolve, and sacrifice. Clearly unbeatable. With their carrier fleet destroyed, another trophy has been added to the orbit of Chad. With a lull in the violence, we decided to set up shop and colonize the secondary planet in Pelephanar. This planet is volcanic in nature and will allow us to produce and mine the components needed in order to produce more ships, armaments, drugs, and all the things we require in order to be stronger than our enemy. Long live Chad's Wart. War is once again in Chadland's doorstep. The Sindrin Diktat and its lion have decided that Chadland belongs to them. Philip Andrada, the lion of Sindra, will learn to fear Chadlandian might. Spinning and twirling, creatures born of hatred and war, their dance delectable only to those with an irreputable character.
Those who wish to see the death of things. As the battle raged on, the Sindrian navy made a fatal mistake and allowed their capital ship to be surrounded. The rest of the enemy fleet was unaware. Slowly but surely, the capital ship was being pushed back. The hot lead load kept piling on, suffocating the enemy's weapons batteries. The Sindrians in the capital ship had already accepted their fate. They are willing to die for Andrada. The enemy capital ship wailed like a dying animal. As the rounds peppered its hull, its fate was all but assured. Chadlin would be free. The remaining enemy ships tried desperately to continue their mission. They could not break the Chetlandian station, and it was too late for escape. Long live, long Chads, live, war. Chads, 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 long live, long Chads, live, war. One by one, the enemy cruisers were destroyed. The remaining ships obliterated, and in the end, only one lived to tell the Sector what happened here, and to remind the rest that Chetlandia would not be subjugated.